welcome to another installment of the Virtual Winter Camp Frozen Edition. My name is Nicole and I am one of the librarians in the Youth and Family Services Department. Today I'll be reading to you a short story and then we will be doing a glitter craft. Disney's Frozen, Elsa's Gift. Snow fell quietly on the kingdom of Arendelle. The town was blanketed in white. Snowflakes tickled children's noses and melted on their tongues. The people of Arendelle waded through deep, powdery snowdrifts as they hurried through the streets. Everyone welcomed the snow, for this time it was not Queen Elsa's doing. It was winter. Inside the castle, Queen Elsa and Princess Anna watched their subjects bustle to and fro. Everyone was preparing for the winter ball Elsa was throwing that evening. Elsa smiled. For the first time since she was a child, the kingdom's gates were open. Elsa's ice magic was finally under control. And most important, she and her sister were friends again. Anna grabbed Elsa's arm and dragged her away from the window. Come on, she said. We have so much to do to get ready for the ball. Elsa chuckled and let herself be pulled. Anna was right. There was a lot to do. Anna and Elsa had been hard at work for days. The castle glittered with Elsa's frosty magic, but there were still some finishing touches to add. While Elsa finished icing the banquet room, Anna raced to the kitchen. There, she said, coming back into the room with a tray full of crumb cake. The dessert table is ready. What do you think, Elsa? But Elsa wasn't paying attention. She was thinking about the ball. Earth to Elsa, Anna called. Elsa looked at her sister and smiled. Anna's act of love had saved Arendelle and Elsa. She wished she could do something special for Anna, something to show everyone how much she loved her sister. Looking around the banquet room, Elsa had an idea. I, um, I have to go, she told Anna and raced out the door. Kristoff! Elsa called as she spotted her sister's friend crossing the castle courtyard. I need your help. Elsa explained her plan to create the perfect gift for Anna. I thought you and I could make an ice sculpture for her, she said. But Elsa had more planned. While Kristoff went to get a block of ice, Elsa locked herself in the kitchen. Elsa, Anna called. She knocked on the door. Are you in there? Don't come in, Elsa said. It's a surprise. Inside the kitchen, Elsa and Olaf were making cookies. You know, Elsa said to the snowman, I'm not sure you should go anywhere near an oven. Pshaw, Olaf said, waving his twiggy arms. What could possibly go wrong? So Olaf and Elsa got to work making Anna's favorite gi extra gingery gingerbread men. The cookies turned out perfectly, and Elsa only had to refreeze Olaf seven times. Elsa... Anna said, knocking on the door again. It smells great in there. Can I help? Nope, Elsa called back. I'll see you later. Just go to your room. When Elsa was sure Anna was gone, she tiptoed into her bedroom. Elsa's closet was overflowing with trinkets she had collected for her sister over the years. Gathering them in her arms, she brought the presents to the banquet room. Elsa was arranging the gifts for her sister when Kristoff arrived with a giant block of ice. Elsa wasted no time. Soon she had created a beautiful sculpture of Anna. Elsa paused for a moment to admire her handiwork. Everything looked beautiful, but it still wasn't perfect. Where's Anna? Kristoff asked. I haven't seen her for a while. Oh, Elsa said. I told her to stay in her room so the surprise wouldn't be ruined. Hmm... Kristoff said with a frown. You know, Elsa, I think what Anna would really like is some punch. Elsa finished his sentence for him. You're right, she said and raced out of the room. I was going to say to spend some time with her big sister, Kristoff said to the empty room. Elsa was stirring a big bowl of punch when Anna walked into the kitchen. What are you doing outside of your room? Elsa asked. It's boring in there. Anna said, and lonely. I'd rather hang out with you. But you'll ruin your surprise, Elsa said. 
Anna rolled her eyes. I have a surprise for you, too, she said, walking out of the kitchen. Follow me. Elsa followed Anna outside to a snowy courtyard, but Anna had disappeared. Anna, where are you? Elsa called. I don't have time for this. There are still a million things I need to splat. A snowball hit Elsa right in the face. Surprise! Anna yelled. Wh what Elsa sputtered, brushing the snow off her face. Did you just... Anna giggled. It's a snowball intervention, Elsa, she said dramatically. Since you don't have any time for me, I'm declaring war. Elsa started to grin. Anna, she said, I think you're forgetting which one of us has magical ice powers. She made a huge snowball and hurled it at Anna. The snowball fight went on and on, until at least Elsa called a truce. It was time for the sisters to get ready for the ball. Elsa glanced shyly at Anna. Then, hurling one final snowball at her unsuspecting sister, she raced inside. Gotcha, she called over her shoulder. That night, the sisters greeted their guests. As Anna looked around the banquet room, she noticed Elsa's cookies and punch and her beautiful sculpture. You did this for me, she said. Elsa nodded. I wanted to give you a perfect gift, she said. It's all lovely, Anna said, and it was very sweet of you. But for me, the best present ever is just being with you. For me too, Elsa said, and linking arms, the sisters went off to enjoy their party together. Now it is time for our craft, and of course using everyone's favorite thing that gets absolutely everywhere every time you use it, glitter. Now the template can come in different styles, uh, being a various princess or a winter castle. In my case, for the example today, it is actually the castle. It's a little difficult to see uh, with it being all one matte color of the um, adhesive backing, but it will be more visible when you put the different colors on it. So today I was given a dark blue, a teal, and silver for the uh, castle. That's what came in the, in the ind individual packet. And uh, I guess we're going to be working from dark to light. It's a little more easy uh, when you are putting on a darker color and let's say we put silver on first, all the blue speckles will get onto the silver and the silver will lose its shine in a way. So we will do that first. So I'm going to look at the template. You try to just figure out where you want to put a certain color. I believe I am going to put the dark blue as the sky. So I'm going to peel off the back, make sure to not peel off any other part of it. Okay, so the back is peeled and now an adult may be needed for this. I did put a paper underneath to try to minimize the mess. So you're going to cut the top off of whatever color you would like to use. And now just uh, sprinkle on the glitter. The back is already sticky, so it is just putting glitter on. Don't have to necessarily worry about the other spots. They're being covered by the adhesive tape. You don't want to take off everything in one shot. That would ruin the effect. I do have another dark blue, so just in case we need more, I'm going to pick it up by the sides and just kind of wiggle it. Try to see if I was able to cover everything. Okay, almost. I'm 
just going to actually place it down into the glitter, that edge there. Just kind of tap it in. Okay, and there is the... Okay, I think next, what I'm going to make teal is the castle. So I am going to peel this off, trying to use my nail. If you have tweezers, that would actually work better. I don't unfortunately have any here, so I may have to take the edge of a mechanical pencil, try to just lift up an edge here. And once I have that edge, just lift up, try not to stick myself, and use my nail as leverage, hold that down. And I see here that left behind there are windows that were on the castle. So that is definitely going to need a little coaxing when I want to do those. But for now, that is fine. So I already cut off the top. So let me open this a little bit more. Have a little bit of a larger opening for the glitter. Okay, and pour on the teal. Have a little bit of a contrast going between the sky and castle. Trying to get a little more narrow and sparse as I go up the different towers of the castle. Still trying to have coverage. There's only one teal packet in this. So I have to pick and choose where I want to place it. What I see here, it's a little sparse. I'm gonna get glitter everywhere now. But taking a finger, I'm going to just rub very gently, going towards the edges. Just so everything has that teal color to it. I'm just gently, I'm not pushing down hard. I'm just skimming the top of the glitter, just kind of pushing the glitter around, not pressing hard. You just want to move it into those areas. This way when you lift the template and you tip it over, you won't have a big mixing of colors. Just pressing a little bit more in the central part where there's only going to be teal. There's no mixing of colors. Just want to make sure that there's some nice saturation of color. Okay. Try to tap my finger free of glitter. And let's tip this over. covered it very nicely. So I will get the adhesive stickers that are still on here. I will remove them and we will put on the silver. The adhesive backing for the windows and the snowflakes are off. I cut the top tab of the silver glitter packet away and now 
is the fun part, the last of the glitter pouring. So for the windows, I'm just going to gently put little mounds on top of where the window goes. The glitter is very light, so it shouldn't interfere with any other color around it. A little bit of a big mound on that one. Now for the snowflakes, big mount on that snowflake, oh, overdid it there. Just making sure I cover. Okay. Every little inch is covered on those. So this is just a quick one, two, three, and flip. So one, two, three, flip, and tap. And there we have it, our frozen glitter art.